Hey there, it's Rosie, and we are making a sweet potato cheesecake. Come on, you know that sounds delicious. So we're going to start off with our crust, and we are using ginger snaps for our crust. No graham crackers over here, ginger snaps. So we placed them in a food processor, and we broke them down completely, and now I'm going to start pouring in some butter, or you can use margarine. I'm going to use this fork to make sure those two ingredients are well combined until it resembles wet sand. And then I'm going to prep a pie dish and I'm going to just spray some baking spray in there. And now I'm going to place my crumbs at the bottom of my pie dish and I'm going to use my hands just to press it down. And we want to make sure this is well molded around the pie dish. Now you're going to place it in the oven on 350 and bake it for 7 minutes. Now it's time to work with our cream cheese. Now what we want to do before anything, we want to whip it up nicely nice and fine so it's nice fluffy airy and smooth and then we're going to pour in some granulated sugar mix those two ingredients and now let's add in some vanilla extract I like pure vanilla extract by the way and I did add in some eggs so mix those ingredients until it's nice and smooth and now it's time to work with our sweet potatoes now I chose to use canned sweet potatoes if you want to use fresh that is fine I'm just going to mash those sweet potatoes and now I'm going to pour in some melted butter or margarine. Let's sprinkle in some ground nutmeg along with some ground cinnamon. I'm going to add some brown sugar. You can use light or dark. And now I'm just going to mix it until it's nice and smooth. So now I have one more ingredient that I need to add and that will be egg. So mix that in. And if you are liking these holiday recipes, please be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know I would really appreciate that. So please do that before exiting this video. And now it is time to build our cheesecake. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour in my cream cheese filling first. And then I'm going to follow up by adding scoops of my sweet potatoes. Now if you want to add the sweet potatoes and the cream cheese and just mix it all together, that will be fine. But I like my cheesecake to be a little textured. So I'm going to just add a couple scoops of the um, sweet potatoes. And then I'm going to use my spatula here. And I'm just going to make some swirls. So it's almost marbled. And now we are ready to bake it. So I'm going to leave it uncovered and I'm going to place this cheesecake in the oven on 350 Fahrenheit for 35 minutes. Remove it from the oven once done and we're going to let this cool and while it's cooling we're going to make our praline topping. So you're going to need some butter or margarine. We're going to start melting it down. Let's add in some brown sugar. You can use light or dark. Along with those ingredients we're going to add in some regular old table salt and now let's add in some heavy cream. So pour that in and we're going to mix these ingredients until everything is well combined and turn your heat up to medium high. Now in a separate pan I have some broken down pecan chips. If you want to use walnut that's fine but I like pecans. And I'm just going to toast these over medium heat. Now after about 5 minutes my mixture over here is bubbling away. We're going to remove it from the heat. We're going to add in our pecans. And now we're also going to be adding in some vanilla extract. So again, this is removed from the heat, and we're going to just mix everything until it's well combined. And now it is time to dress up our cheesecake. Pour that praline topping all over the cheesecake, and you want to grab a kitchen utensil like a knife or a spatula, because we want to make sure we spread this throughout or all over the surfaces is what I'm trying to say. Now what you want to do now is cover this cheesecake, place it in the refrigerator for 4 hours, and then your cheesecake is ready to be served. Definitely give this recipe a try. Your guest is going to go bananas after they have this. This is seriously holiday worthy, so add it to your Thanksgiving and your Christmas menu. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon.